Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? I want to talk today about YouTube and I am of the opinion that YouTube just doesn't care about baby boomers. I'm not saying that they don't like baby boomers, but we just don't enter into their consciousness for some reason or other. And I'm trying to find that reason out. So that's what we're going to be talking about on today's vlog. Now, you know, if you follow this channel that we are doubling down on YouTube, we've increased our publishing uh, frequency. We've added new types of product mix into our YouTube channel, along with our regular productivity videos. I'm now doing a weekly ask me anything live and I'm doing this vlog, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. I hope you're enjoying it too. Uh, it, but I've been, do, I, but I'm just obsessed with YouTube and kind of discovering what the secret sauce is on YouTube. It is such an amazing platform and it is so ripe with opportunity in so many different areas. And, and as I go looking at business models and trying to figure out how to make more money or stable income on YouTube, I'm struck by the number of business models that different content creators have in place. It's, it's almost like no two creators have the same business model, uh, completely. They're just, everyone kind of carves out their own space and it's fascinating to watch. But the one thing I'm noticing as I d dive in and compare my uh, offerings and my channel and my growth to other content creators is how few comparables I have in my age bracket. I've got lots that compare as far as the type of content that I create, the how-to content, the technology. I've got lots of other examples that I can look at where there's great creators creating content in that space and I learn a lot from those creators. But every time I try and look for somebody of my generation, somebody who's a little bit older, I, I come up short. I, there's so many people between 20 and 40 years old publishing on YouTube, making their living on YouTube, thousands of creators that are doing really well and building really interesting and compelling business models. A lot less between 40 and 50. And once you're north of 60, it's, it's a desert. There are just so few, uh, in, 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 I don't really understand why I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. And I would also, as I see that happen, want to be an agent of change, helping people of our generation to step onto YouTube because YouTube still is, is just this amazing opportunity. If I'm missing and I'm not seeing the, the creators cause I, I look on a regular basis, but if you know of a great baby boomer YouTube content creator, Please let me know in the comments. Tell me who they are. I will follow them. I want to see what they're doing. Now I follow Peter Paul Chato. No, actually an old buddy of mine in Canada, in Toronto. And if you don't follow him and you're interested in this channel, you're probably going to like Peter or Paul's channel. I, I don't know why it was Peter Paul, but I've always known him as Paul. Hello, denizens of the internet. Welcome to another edition of RBF. Well, today was Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference and I've got the specially professionally transcribed notes for you here. Paul. Stay tuned. But he's got a really good tech channel. He talks a lot about Mac stuff. He's funny. He's articulate. He's on point. Uh, he's, he, he's great. Now, I don't mind sending you to him. I'm not afraid that you're, I'm going to lose you because his channel and my channel don't really compete as far as I'm concerned, even though they cover the same content because uh, the bottom line is he's not that good looking. So there's really, I'm sorry. You'll see for yourself. But if there are others, please share them with me let me know about them because I, I want to see who's doing it now. So let's get to the reasons because I've been thinking a lot about what the reasons are that YouTube is, seems to be devoid of older content publishers. And although it's easy to blame YouTube for that saying, you know, they don't celebrate us. They don't put us in the up and coming artists area and the up and coming creators area. And I, that may be, that may be the case, but I just don't think that there's that many options for them to grab somebody who's a little more advanced in years and put them forward. The nature of baby boomers as we've grown up, we haven't grown up with this technology as a part of our lives. We've had to learn about it later in life. I believe that that is one big barrier. Uh, we haven't grown up with social networking. Our, we have a lot higher threshold of privacy that we're concerned with. But I think there's also an intimidation factor. I think that many in our age demographic are intimidated by the fact that the younger generations are more capable, seemingly more capable, more comfortable with the technology. So we're intimidated by their success and we don't want to step into that space. We definitely consume YouTube. We are watching it just as much as any other generation. You know, as we explore how you build a good following on YouTube, how you present yourself on YouTube, how you make money and make business on YouTube, how you grow and support your community. 
I'm hoping that maybe we can act as a, as a catalyst for other baby boomer content creators to step out of the shadow, to, 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 to take the chance, to take the risk and start publishing and putting yourself forward on YouTube. I don't just want people subscribing to my channel and following me. No, I want you out there creating your content. I, if, you, if, if, if you're moved to that, I want to see more options. When I do a search on YouTube for baby boomer vlogger, I don't want to come up with nothing. I don't want to come up with a bunch of old, old, old videos of people trying to do some makeup, trying to look younger. That's what I get now. You, you get some total crap out there other than a very few select content creators. You go, you go through the trending videos and it's, oh, take a look. Let's go through trending, uh, trending right here. Click on trending. There it is. This is my, my YouTube feed. You look who the creators are. You look who the publishers are. You look at the channels that are most relevant on YouTube as far as largest number of subscribers, largest number of views, and it's all youth. What I would call youth. I'm sure they don't think of themselves <laughs> as youth anymore. But you know what I'm saying. Now, before we wrap up, I'm going to throw one carrot out. Even though there are less baby boomer content creators, if you can attract a more mature audience to your YouTube channel, there are some really tangible benefits that are attached because YouTube ads, all of the ads that run on YouTube channels, they are paid out how much they're paid for every exposure that they get. It's paid out based on how much advertisers want to reach that community. And even though YouTube seems to be built and seems to, seems to get most of its energy and juice from millennials, advertisers are willing to pay more to reach a more mature audience. But I know that when I talk to comparable content creators, my peers, that are all younger than me, obviously, uh, but when we start comparing and talking about what's happening in the business, and when we start talking about RPM, how, many, how much money our channel earns per thousand views, uh, that without fail, the numbers that we get on our channel, even though our overall numbers, our overall views are typically smaller than their views, the amount that I earn per view is much higher. That's because my audience is mature. It's harder for advertisers to reach because there's just not as many options. Uh, consequently, there are some real tangible benefits if you decide that you're going to move into this space. With a, YouTube is driven by millennials, but it's not just for millennials. It's a platform we can all carve out. It's like, it's like, it's like the gold rush. You can still stake your claim on YouTube. And if you are move to, you should stake your claim on YouTube. Now, one of the results of me doing as much research as I'm doing is I am consuming a ton of YouTube content and I'm looking for who does exceptional jobs uh, and trying to figure out exactly what it is each one does. And so now I've got all of these content creators who I'm following, who I am blown away by. And I think I should, in each week's vlog, share at least one person with you who you should follow or take a look at to see if it's somebody that's compelling to you. And for me this week here, this is the one. Although I did mention Peter Paul Chato, and you definitely should. We will link to him in the, uh, in the notes. Uh, but this is the nerd writer. Now I found him because I was actually watching one of Casey Neistat's vlogs. And he uh, was on just briefly with Casey. And he is, he produces video essays. And these essays are just spectacular. Um, I, if you want one to watch just to start, um, watch this one on Harry Potter. He, I know it, it seems, what, Harry Potter? What the heck are you talking about, Steve? In eight minutes, it's a short video essay. It's incredibly well produced. And it is a piece of art as far as its crafting goes. And he talks about the, uh, he talks about the, 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 ch the shift in the narrative of the Harry Potter story. And he thinks it all happened in this one movie, The Prisoner of Azkaban. And he, exp he explains it so well. It's just a joy to watch this well-crafted video. He's got 2 million subscribers. Check him out. I will link to him in the show notes. And with that, I think we will wrap things up for today. Well, I hope you found today's vlog to be interesting. I definitely want to hear your comments uh, about what you think about YouTubers and baby boomers and how we mesh together. And if you are one of those, if you are one of those who are thinking about publishing on YouTube and you haven't done it yet, well, what are you waiting for? Let's face it. <laughs> You're not getting any younger. Come on, giddy up. Is somebody else going to do it for you? 
<laughs> it's time to get going. What are you doing that's so important that you don't have time to make a video or two? Do it now. It's really not that hard. We've got a ton of videos on our channel showing you how. I promise, I'll watch. Till next time, have fun storming the castle.